Well, oh, good morning and welcome to Webley. It's Monday the 27th of November 2023 and I'm in Herefordshire for the week. So I thought I'd try and take a bit of walking in. It'd be nice to do another video because it's been a while. So I'm just in the centre of the village. Today I'm using my new camera. It's not an action cam. It's a, a Canon SX70 big bridge camera, but it also supposedly does decent video, so I'm trying it out with this. So we've got a brewery here as well in Webley, does some excellent beer and a cafe bar restaurant doubles up as one. All salutation, it's a good pub there, and the scram looks nice in it as well. But I've had a few pints in there before. And there's another pub just up there. So I'm going to try and head to some sort of woodland um, today and just see how it goes. I'm just looking back. And the reason why I did get this camera because it's got a 65x zoom on. So it gets some tremendous shots from distance. It's kind of gone off the GoPro type things. I like a thing with a bit of zooming. I'll do a video as well with an external mic and see how it goes. But I'm going to walk up this way where the forks are through the field and just see how it goes. So, Webley once over did have a proper castle. So it stood on in this area. This is a common place. We can go for a wonder. Oh, I've had a brief wander here before when we've stayed and it's quite nice so this in the distance there's some woods I'll get up the name of them so you can see there that's where I'm going to try and head to and I'm sure there'll be a few paths there it just gives you something to do just an alternative I managed to get back on to the road so going this way would lead to the road into Hereford which is nine or ten miles away <clears throat> quite muddy underfoot but who cares I'm not enjoying the weather it does seem odd I mean Penny hasn't come with me she hasn't come down she stays with my mum for the week, so she'll be absolutely fine. And those who are just asking about her, she's doing absolutely fine. Slow down a little bit, but she's a dog that likes a change of scenery. So I just coming to the end. There's plenty of little offshoots, paths and stuff. I've walked over on that path before, through the trees, through there. They come out onto one of the other roads. Right, yeah. So it looks like I'm going to head through this field. Now I'm just having a muck about the zoom here, so I'm just standing by a wall. So I'm going to try and zoom it in. Close, I can't the pheasant. Don't know if it works or not. There you go, it's in focus. It's not on full zoom, far from it. Well, he gets a good shot of the pheasant. Get it closer. Much easier on a tripod. But yeah, it's a cracker of the pheasant. And for the record, I'm not going to kill it. <laughs> so strangely enough, I've been told <laughs> this woodland, this has different names for each bit of wood because it goes right over there. The Garnstone Park. Quite appropriate using the word Garn, which is going in West Cumbrian. So, as Garn in woods. Because, uh, is it all called Garn? Garnstone Woods? But, uh, I've had a look on my maps. There seems to be a few tracks up in the woodland. But this is the pheasantry, this. So, they obviously breed pheasants in this area, hence I've just filmed one earlier. That's the only one I've seen so far, strangely enough. So I have a choice of two paths here. 
can see directly in front of me, let's look at the map. So yeah, I could go there and also if I just go to the left, there's a path there as well. It's not on the maps it doesn't look that well marked out, but I'm sure there's something there, definitely. So I've had a shower, so I'm just gonna briefly wipe this. That's better. So if I just pan back round. So yeah, I'm up quite high now. So I slew my way down there. Main road, the Hereford. Come back round, that's where I've walked. And if I zoom right over there. In that area. I should know that, I've got brain freeze. Well, it's towards Lemster that way, anyhow. And you've got the side of Dinmore Hill. I don't know if it is Dinmore Hill, that actually. Oh, there's a stack of deer moving now. I've disturbed them too much. There must have been at least 10, 12. Damn it. Well, this is turning out to be a real pleasant walk when I've gone off piste. But um, I found the OS maps and there seems to be more classic tracks in this woodland area to follow and so I know where I'm at now so yeah I've seen one person so far all day since I've come out of Webley it was just a runner just doing a little bit of hill running but yeah there's an absolute abundance of deer in here some darker like black deer in here as well I've just seen a massive group of them but I've been over unable to catch them on camera <laughs> the scuttle off quick I'm hoping to get some more so there's loads so I've done four and a half miles so far I'm really enjoying this and the sun's coming out as well it's, it's quite a pleasant late autumn winter walk early winter walk right so as it's turned out I've been on some private woodland here <laughs> So I've just been walking with some chaps who've directed me this way because it's like a bit of a hunting expedition going on. It's a, this area's a private woodland here. So I took a wrong turn. Oops. I can hear some gunshots early and I thought, shit. <laughs> so yeah, the gentleman was very nice. So he's kindly guided us to the right direction, safely out the way, because I don't want to be shooting folk by accident. Fair play. Well, I'm back on to safe ground where all I can hear surrounding me is bang, bang, bang at the minute. Um, back on the road. So, this bridge looks a really old bridge. It's got a nice posh bit on the top. I can hear dogs barking still. So for now I'm going to just follow this road to Yarsop. So I'm looking to find Yarsop next and then I'll make my way back to Webley. Whether it's back through some woods or not is another thing but it's quite interesting. I'd say I'm that side as well. Oh well, hopefully I'll get back safe. So I seem to be at the top of this hill now, in the middle of the forest. Uh, there's a lot of people still out hunting, pheasant hunting and stuff. Hey, very pleasant too, because I got a bit lost there with direction, so they've got us on the right track again, thankfully. <laughs> and they haven't blown my ass off. So I think this is the highest point of this area. So, yeah. It's starting to get a bit dark now, so one's going to have to start dropping soon, back through the forest and then back onto the road and back into Webberley and I should have done around maybe nine miles so I'm not going to be a look. Right, so I've come to some old abandoned place on the map it says it's called Cold Batch Wormsley Hill yeah, I'm quite high up here but I need to make me down way down I don't know if it's this way or that way I'll just see which direction is the safest because there's some trees down there 
bit knackered. So it could be an interesting proposition to get through those, but it wouldn't be uh, a walk without going on a wild goose chase. Well, seem to have navigated me way. Hey, look at that! That was good timing, wasn't it? A little deer running across. There's a pile of pheasants in front of me on this path. It goes right down. So I'm hoping this goes down the road. I'm probably on more private land as well. <laughs> I just want to get off it now. <laughs> There's no more shooting going on around me, thankfully, so, yeah. So it's all day around here, so I can see why some of these woods are closed off. So, and there's another sign there. I'll go and investigate. I've seen me delete two videos before. I did do a closing video. I'll do it now, it's pitch black. So it was a nine mile walk, nearly ten. It's pretty good. So, I thoroughly enjoyed it, but we'll see how we get on the next few days, I'll do another walk. I don't know where, but it'll be in this area, so you're down here for a week. So, the camera looks alright, I can't believe I've deleted my last two like clips I did. So I did one on the moon, I've got a moon shot, but I don't know, I've just accidentally deleted it. Stupid. Anyhow, that's all for now, so that's goodbye from me.